Happy New Year! This is Transformation Confessions. So that's why I'm coming to you. No makeup on at the gym, sweating, because I think that you would benefit from seeing the behind the scenes. I know I benefit from seeing the YouTubers that show me what they do to get to their actual goals instead of just showing the finished product or whatever. So I'm still going through it because when I did Transformation Chronicles last year, I had an amazing plan, but what stopped me was my mind. So let me tell you what I mean by my mind. I had the thought, I'm so sick and tired of working so hard and getting minimal results. So basically, I'm the type of person, and please let me know if you can relate by sending me a comment and um, by dropping a comment and then also by sending me an email if you don't wanna do that, or by even sharing the video, because this is something I'm gonna be keep all the way real. I am the type of person that I have to work really hard to like get the kind of results that I want. So when it comes to losing weight, I can lose weight. When it comes to gaining weight, I can gain weight, but I can work, when I work really hard, it's just like some, you know, weight loss, but it's not what I expect. So, and I feel like this in other areas of my life. So it was basically a limiting belief. So that being said, I let that belief let me slip into breaking some of my habits. One of the habits that I have is drinking water. I do still have my water jug and I still carried it around everywhere. However, what I would do is I didn't care if I finished it or not. So even though I have these little milestones on my water jug, so you can see it says, you know, something along the way, keep chugging, feeling awesome it has the times on there don't give up it has almost finished and then you did it so i would just i was drinking water but i didn't really care if i finished the whole thing um i was working out but i changed my goal from five days a week to three days a week um what else did i change i would eat basically whatever i want but i didn't eat um i guess i would say i wouldn't eat as often as I could have ate. So sometimes I would skip certain meals. So I did have, you know, some of that going on that was good, a good thing, but I just let so many things slip. And sure enough, I gained, I went past the danger zone. So I was already in the danger zone. If you wanna know what is the danger zone, the danger zone is over 200 pounds. So I was, I think it's like 202 or something. Um, I was surprised that I didn't get like super shocked when I went past the danger zone um, because I thought I was gonna have a breakdown, y'all. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna do it, but I didn't. <laughs> I did not have a breakdown. I just said, "Girl, you know what to do, so let's get it in and do what needs to be done, and let's clean up your mindset, and then also let's do, let's get back to these habits." Because if you watch my previous videos in Transformation Chronicles, I talked about how. I definitely did lose weight. So I've been over 200. I've been like, I think my highest was 220 something because it was so long ago. I can't remember exactly how much. But I definitely remember stepping on the scale at one point and it being like 218. I definitely remember having clothes that were an 18. And I went down to where I could, excuse me, I got to like something in my eye, bear with me. But um, I went down to, uh, where I could squeeze in a six. I'm not saying I was a solid six, but I could squeeze in a six. And my weight was like 165, I think it was, was the lowest. It might, no, it wasn't 165. That was actually the goal. It was actually 168. So even at 168, if you could tell a little bit about my body type, I could squeeze into a six. Now, when it comes to my body type, I have like a muscular build. So it looks like, you know, my legs are solid and, you know, I don't have to work as hard to build the muscle, but I have to work harder to lose the fat. And that's the part that I was like frustrated with. So I kept making all kinds of, of excuses. So I kept saying, well, you know, I just got married 
Um, what else did I say? Oh, well, what if I get pregnant? I was coming up with all kinds of stuff. And at the end of the day, yes, I just got married and I need to continue to look good because I am a wife and that is my responsibility to look good as a part of it. And then also, if I were to get pregnant, I need to be a healthy body weight because that would increase the chances. So I was making up just crazy stuff. That's why this is Transformation Confessions. So I'm just taking off the face because y'all know I like to paint my face and be cute and all of that, but I'm taking off the face. I don't want to be fake and I want to just keep it real. So now what am I doing about it? I want to share all of this with you because I think I personally, I binge on videos um, because they really help me videos about fasting and things like that um, because they really do help me to get through the fast so that's why I wanted to share this with you guys and I wanted to be as transparent as possible so I felt during this time period I just heard the Lord just saying like you got to fix this you got to fix this you got to get to back back to who you really are you cannot let yourself go you cannot give up because that's not who you are because you guys know if you are following me that I'm the more in you girl. So I always say no matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through, there's always still more in you. So of course I say that to me first. So that being said, I felt the Lord saying, you need to go on a fast because you got some things within your spirit that you need to get rid of. And that's what's holding you back. So I heard the Lord say that I needed to do a Daniel's fast. And with that process, I am journaling it. So I'm not gonna be coming to you every day probably i'll come to you when i'm led to come if you share it if you comment um if you say you want to hear more i'll do more but other than that i do plan on definitely um at the end of this i definitely will share what's all in my journal and how it went step by step now with the daniel's fast i'm going to break it down quickly what i'm actually doing and then i'll tell a little bit of my results because i'm only on day three so what I'm doing is it's going to be basically fruits, vegetables, water, nuts. And what I tried to do is the really strict Daniel's fast from the Bible. However, which means like you don't have any, you don't have anything but water. You don't have salt. You don't have sugar. You don't have any of that. So I'm still not, I don't have sugar, but I couldn't do the no salt thing. So I'm only on day three and I realized the no salt thing is a little too much. So I'm doing, um, I do believe that God is allowing me to do that because my personal um, addictions are more to sugar. So when it comes to sugar, I don't really eat a lot of sugar. Like I don't eat, eat, I didn't mean to say that. I do not drink sodas, pops, and all that kind of stuff. I don't drink that kind of stuff, but I do love sweets and I do add artificial sweeteners to my coffee and I do add that to um, tea, generally speaking. So God said the sacrifice for me would be no sugar and only have natural sugars. So that being said, I'm like, that's a sacrifice. Another sacrifice for me is TV because God told me a long time ago that I don't need to be watching um, TV as much as I watch TV because I was the type even if I'm in school or whatever I'd have TV playing in the background all of that that kind of stuff it gets into your spirit it gets into if y'all know what I'm talking about by spirit your subconscious when you sleep when you dream when you have those thoughts that you don't even know where they come from sometimes it's because you've been listening to stuff or you have stuff playing in the background and that's how it gets in there and that's how you have the thoughts that you had so that being said um he told me fruits vegetables waters and what what am i going to say fruits vegetables water water i can have tea even though i haven't had any tea yet but i don't feel like um, i don't feel a conviction about not having the tea um and then i can have natural sugar so that means like um i can get some raw honey or something i wasn't going to do that i was going to try to be beast mode what but um, I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can make it through these 40 
days <laughs> because I don't know if you got that, but this is 40 days and I'm not doing the 21. That's traditional, but I believe that God is calling me to do 40 days. So even so far, it's like a couple pounds the first day, a pound the second day, and then I don't know what it's going to be for the third day. So I know the weight's going to drop. So not really worried about the weight because I know how to work out hard. I know how to push myself. I know how to eat right. I know how to um, do all of the stuff to lose weight. But the issue is, is in my mind and in my spirit. So that um, I'm doing an hour of power and I'm going to end with this. I'm doing an hour of power or my goal is to do an hour of power because I honestly, it's been a struggle. This transformation confessions. So honestly, it's been a struggle. So that being said, what I'm supposed to be doing, and I don't even like to say supposed to, this is what will happen within this 30, 40 days. I will be getting up at 5 a.m. I will be reading the scriptures. I'll be reading through the Bible, um, the entire Bible this year. And then another thing that I will be doing is I will be praying and seeking the Lord early as in his word. And what else, what else, what else? Okay, that is pretty much the challenge as far as the hour of power and exercise. That's what it was, exercise. So I did increase my exercise goal to six days a week because what I did notice before is that what I was doing when I lowered it down to three days, that's not even enough to maintain my weight because of my type, the way my body is set up. I not six days is a, a bit much, but four to five days is what helps me maintain and actually more like five to six is what helps me lose. And that being said, I used to have a goal where I set it to 10,000 um, steps per day because I'm Fitbit Nation. Join me on Fitbit. But anyway, um, your girl's name is Detra Hester on Fitbit, but you can follow me on any platforms and hit me up or drop it if drop an email if you want to join me on Fitbit because I do the challenges and all of that. But I did increase that goal to 15,000 steps because if I really want to see results like I was complaining about, I just have to push harder. Like I said, it goes back to my saying, there's more in you. So no matter what's going on, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what I've been through, there's still more in me. So if I don't like my results, I got to work harder, period. So if you don't like your results, you've got to work harder. So if you have tried to Daniel's Fast, if you want to try to Daniel's Fast, if this inspired you in any way, shape or form, then definitely drop me a message. Definitely share the video with anyone that you think cares. But until next time, always remember there's more in you.